You are. Wow, you look amazing. Wow, don't cry. It's okay. Wow. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you have to do is turn that bell on to subscribe to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you are subscribed. In order to get the notifications, every time I upload a video on the Cryer family, you must turn on that bell with a vibrating symbol. <laughs> That way, every time I upload a video on the Cryer family, you, you, and you will get the notifications. Guys, 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 listen. I got some good news, man. I'm gonna give you guys the good news first, then I'm gonna give you the great news. The good news is, I did a video last night. In the last couple of videos, I've been saying, guys, thank you for all the new subscribers that's recently joined the Cryer family. I don't know where it's going on, where all these new subscribers are coming from, but I just want to say, man, thank you guys so much, and welcome to the Cryer family, man. Thank you so much. I went to sleep last night to 515K. I woke up this morning, it was way above. 516k so another thousand some plus subscribers while i was asleep last night thank you guys man thank you thank you and thank you guys so the great news is that's the good news the great news is i got in touch with my neighbor and we viewed the footage from the mysterious vehicle that was parked caddy quarter from my house and it was just exactly what i thought it was guys I decided not to expose this individual by posting that picture on my platform um, for legal reasons. I decided to go ahead, go to the police station this morning, and I gave them everything from the footage. I showed them my house, I showed them the vehicle. I also was able to give them a recording of an individual saying that I was going to be dead on my son Damon's birthday, which is next month on the 18th. So I decided to go ahead and protect myself. Now, a lot of people do things to protect themselves, like getting restraining orders. But this right here wasn't for me to protect myself. This is, was for me to actually um, make sure that I have a legitimate reason you know, to handle what I need to handle if things come my way. And sometimes you just need proof in order to move forward when it comes to law enforcement. You've been arrested for doing something stupid and going to jail. So you can say I did it to protect myself, but I also did it for other reasons. Again, people get restraining orders to protect themselves because they're scared. This wasn't a situation with me because I'm not scared at all. What I'm doing is I'm putting myself in a position to where when they slap their handcuffs on me, everything will be justified. And I hate to say that, but it is what it is, man. It is. So yes, I did confirm the vehicle was exactly what I thought it was. I don't know who the occupants of the vehicle was, but I know exactly what the vehicle is. The vehicle actually had a paper tag on it. So we already know what it is. I did my research and it's all G to the double O D. So man, listen, you know, the, the bad thing about that whole situation, man, it really just frustrated me because I knew it wasn't my imagination. Like when I talk to some of like my family members or whatever, they be like, man, you just, you, you know, you just exaggerating and stuff. You know, it's just your imagination, you paranoid. And I think someone in my comment section had even said, you're paranoid, ain't nobody after you. And that's what I'm saying, guys. Even after you put the facts out there and the proof, you still have one or two trolls who come in and say, oh, you just paranoid, you're lying, this and that. Listen, I'm gonna do what I gotta do to make sure that I'm good. My family is good. My children, all of my children are good. Cause ain't no clowns gonna be trying to take nobody out the box, bro. Anyway, I'm gonna show y'all this drip I got on before. 
I'll continue this video and tell you guys exactly what your boy is up to today. Early, uh, late Christmas gift from my babies. Uh, not the same ones, but uh, I didn't know what to match these shoes up with today. So I decided to go ahead since they got some pink in it, all black in it, a little bit yellow right there on the tongue, and some white. And so I matched it up, which I know my famous drip shirt, which has some black in it, has some yellow in it, and it also has some white in it, and definitely has pink in it. So that's what I'm rocking today. I got a pair of my jeans on and stuff, man. But uh, anyway, man, um, why I'm here today, bro. So you guys know the whole situation with me and my son Dion's mom. This is love by Erica. Y'all know we don't have, you know, we haven't had like the greatest friendship or relationship when we was in a relationship last year. Um, and I say relationship last year because me and Erica broke up somewhere around last April or May. It was something like that where she moved on with her life. I moved on with my life and things ended up, you know, come to find out that we both had got used and we both had got played. But, um, um, so a lot of crazy stuff had, you know, happened last year. Then coming into this year, you know, we had a situation where I had broke Erica's camera because she left the camera in my son Dion's diaper bag when he came to my house one day. We got into it or whatever, had words, and then, she ended up doing some crazy stuff to my Mustang. I said, baby, y'all know I don't play about my car. I hope y'all can hear me because of this wind I picked up. Uh, and then, you know, I ended up, you know what I'm saying, getting handcuffed, put in a dog cage, and she took the stuff off my wall, my YouTube plaque, my pictures of my kids, and allegedly she sold my kids' pictures for $10,000, which led to me driving down three hours to another part of Houston to go to her mom's house to confront her. If me and her younger brother got into it or whatever. So now, you know, I'm trying to do things a little bit different with Erica, you know, because I'm really tired of me. So I put a community post up yesterday saying, yo, should I go ahead and just replace her camera and just squash all this BS beef with her? Because, you know, she's dealing with enough already. She's pregnant with her third child. You know, uh, she's going through it pretty much, you know, by herself I mean I'm there for her you know but I can only do so much you know but I'm still gonna be there for her and try to be supportive to her and you know try to be that person that she can lean on you know because she don't really have anybody here in Houston you know except for me and you know that's 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 just really crazy bro so yesterday was her 29th birthday Huge happy birthday to you, Love by Erica. Shout out to Love by Erica, man. Go over there and spam up, spam up her community post. She posted some very, very beautiful pictures yesterday of herself from her photo shoot, man. Um, what's your happy birthday, man? Happy belated birthday, man. You know, tell her keep her head up. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Me and Erica, again, like I said earlier, we done been through some stuff, man. We done been through some crazy ups and downs with this YouTube game, YouTube relationships. We done went through it together, bro. But I can appreciate the fact seeing how this woman is moving differently with her life, man. You know, you have people who's really trying to come at her and really trying to bring this woman down. You know, uh, and people be telling me all the time, man, you crazy, man. You need to run from her. You need to, you know, get away from her, bro. She gonna do this and do that. But the same people telling me this is the same ones who got their own personal stuff going on. That's probably 10, 20, 30 times worse than our situation. So, it's like, it's crazy to witness it, man. But, I can honestly say I'm proud of her, man, because she's moving differently. You see people trying to come at her, trying to be funny, trying to bring her spirits down. Her only response, she's dropping a video. That's her response. It's not even pertaining to what they got going on. She's trying to move differently. But yesterday was a very special day for her. A very, very special day for her. Yesterday was her 29th birthday. Your birthday only comes once a year. You know, I sat there at the house and I watched her live on TV, even though it was really lagging, I guess, whatever reception she was at, that her internet, whatever the hell the case was. But her, her, her live was in and out. But I see, you know, she was looking pretty, had herself fixed up. She had the babies in the background. She had my son, Dion. She had her other son, Cam. And it looks like for her birthday, she just did her own thing on her birthday. You know, and I can respect that. 
But I guess what really bothered me the most, man, it's the other stuff that happened on her birthday that deliberately happened to bring this woman down, to try to break her spirits, to try to make her feel less of a human being. Me being the man that I am, I can't allow that to happen. You know, that's still my son's mom. And when I see people trying to attack her like that, bro, I'm not gonna just stand by and just let you think that you are gonna hurt her. Cause if you hurt her, you hurt my son. So I'm not going for that, bro. I'm not going for that. You know, uh, so this is what I'm gonna do. I got her location because I'm supposed to be pulling up to pick my son Deanna uh, Dion up today. I'm gonna be picking my son Deanna up today, taking him with me today for a while so Erica can have the rest of the weekend to herself to enjoy her special day. Because it looked like she didn't get to really do chance, you know, it looked like she didn't really get a chance to do much yesterday because she got both of the kids. And I know how my son Dion is. Dion is a handful. When that boy gets the stuff, man, he gets in the stuff. Dion, he's the truth. So she didn't really get to do much yesterday from what I've seen in the video. And so I want to be able to do something for her that's going to put a smile on her face. You know, despite, you know, all the stuff that she's been going through, because I see the way that she's moving. She's definitely moving differently now. She's actually moving differently. Like, I've never seen her move different before. I mean, like, y'all know Erica, man. Somebody come for Erica on the, internet, on the internet, where they try to be funny to do something to hurt her. Erica is a firecracker. She will go to the internet and she will put your ass on blast. But lately, the stuff that she's been seeing, and the stuff that I've been seeing, she's just cruising right along, doing her own thing. You know, she got some big things that's gonna jump off of her channel. Her subscribers done went up over the last couple weeks, a couple thousand. That hasn't happened in a long time. You know, she got people that, that, that actually left her channel and now are returning to her channel. You know, I think that that's awesome. So me and her been beefing and beefing and beefing and beefing. You know, and again, I'm about to be picking my son up today. But it's gonna be a twist to what I'm gonna do today. I'm actually going to pull up and I'm going to surprise her and I'm going to say happy birthday. This is for you. And not only am I going to take my son with me and let her enjoy the rest of her special weekend, I'm going to see if she'll let me actually take her son Cam with me. She deserves a break. She deserves to go out. If she want to go get her hair done, she deserves to go do that for her birthday. She want to go get her nails done, she deserves to do that for her birthday. If she want to just go shopping for clothes or she has a baby coming, right? She has a newborn baby coming. If she want to go out and buy stuff for her unborn baby, that'd be nice for her to be able to go out and just splurge and buy something for her unborn baby. I actually feel very, very honored to do it because I'm sure as a single parent, when I get my son Dion by myself, and I have Dion just by myself for two or three days when my visitation time come around, I know how hard it is with just a one-year-old running around crying all the time, slobbering, boo-booing, you can't get nothing done, you can't even go to the restroom and close the door, you gotta take really short showers. So, as a man who's single and actually lives by himself, I have my son only a couple of days out of the week and it's already hard enough. So I couldn't imagine having two kids and then having one in, it, one in your stomach that's still in there throwing up. So I think that she deserves to have her day to day. So I don't know what she's gonna do with it, but I'm hoping that she just go do something nice with herself. Don't worry about nothing. And just go splurge on yourself. Let these clowns be clowns. Keep doing you, Erica. I'm proud of you. I want you to keep doing your thing. Don't let these people get in your way. And only remember this right here. Only remember this right here, Erica. And anybody else who's listening wanna come up on YouTube or at work or anything. People are only trying to stop you when they see that you're doing great for yourself. When nobody's talking about them, but only talking about you. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep your head up, man. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of this blessed weekend. You guys, she, I mean, she won't even see this video until later on because she don't even know what I'm about to do, but I'm going to surprise her. I have her location because she said to tell me to pick my son up. So I'm gonna go out there in about 45 minutes to an hour and go pick my little man's up and I'm gonna surprise her with this bread and hope that she let me take Cam with her. And we just gonna go from there, man. So I'm gonna see you guys when I get there. By the way, wish me luck. Okay guys, this is the moment of truth. I just pulled up to the location where Love by Erica is at, her and the kids. So um, I'm a little nervous. I kind of got up here, man, and I kind of chickened out a little bit. 
So it's like, man, you know, did I want to just come and pick my son up and be like, hey, thank you, enjoy your birthday. But I decided to go ahead and make an extra stop. And I decided to go ahead and put a beautiful smile on her face because she is a very beautiful woman. And I think that the stuff that she's enduring and going through, I feel like that she deserves the best, especially on our special day. You know, this woman is really dealing with a lot of BS, man, that's been done on purpose. And I just feel like, you know, I want to just be, you know, I want to just uplift Erica, man, you know, to keep her pushing, to motivate her, to keep striving for better, man. So I got her this dozen of roses right here. It's one of her favorite colors. These are like an orange color. I know rose gold is her favorite color. So this is between orange and rose gold, man. Comment down below if you like these flowers and if you think that she will like these flowers. So I'm gonna be taking these flowers uh, to the door with me when I knock at the door. And also guys, I have a card right here that I'm gonna be signing here real shortly to fill out. I'm gonna read the card to you. It's actually a birthday card for Erica. It says, the world needs more like you, right there on the front. And now I'm gonna read the card to you guys. It says, you get it. You get how much love and kindness the world needs right now. And you put your heart into making that happen however you can. And the second part of the card says, thank you for being that kind of person one who truly cares and makes a difference. Hope some of that goodness comes back to you today. Happy birthday. I'm gonna sign it with my name. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I got dark. I'm gonna sign a card with my name, Damian Cryer. And I am actually going to put this money inside this card. I'm gonna put this money in the card so she'll have something she can be able to go splurge on and do something nice with for herself. And if she so decides to tell you guys how much that she got in her car, that would be on her and not on me. So quit trying to read my lips and see how much I'm counting, guys. So I think it's a very nice birthday gift, man. Like I said, especially what she's going through. Erica is really up against her right now. You know, she got like, you know, she has two kids already. She's dealing with her third baby. And, you know, she's been trying to reach out, you know, to people for assistance, all to the avail. And, you know, I hate to see her going through this by herself, man. And I'm not going to sit back and watch people, you know, try to punish this woman for some mistakes that she might have made in her life. But the same ones who's trying to punish her and down her is the same ones who's made mistakes themselves. Anyway, we're going to put the money inside the envelope, inside the car. And we're going to put this bad boy inside of the envelope. And we're going to, oh God, I got dark again, guys. To Erica. From, oh, I'll put form. From uh, Damien Cryer. That's it, guys. So I'm about to get out the truck. I think I gotta take a, I'm all the way to the top floor. I think I gotta take an elevator down. So, wish me luck, guys. Um, again, I just really wanna put a smile on her face and try to make this one of the best birthdays for this lady because of the stuff that she's dealing with, man. And I wanna say thank you to the Lord for putting me in a position the way I am to be continue to continue to be a humble person and hopefully to continue to do things like this for people, even if it's not Erica. Uh, put me in a position to do stuff for people like this, man, you know, because there's a lot of people out there hurt, man, and, you know, you really don't have nobody there to uplift you. You know, praying for someone is always awesome. I mean, it is awesome because prayer works, but sometimes going above and beyond really, really helps, and it really, really changes the situation. You guys ever heard that saying, information changes the situation? That's absolutely true. So this type of information that she's about to receive today is probably going to change her situation for the rest of the day the rest of the week and hopefully it just puts a really beautiful smile on her face okay guys i am actually outside of um erica's door um in the location that she's at um again i got the flowers in hand i got the envelope right here stuffed in my pants because as you see i got a handful of stuff I wanted to get her like some chocolate candy because women love chocolates. Women love chocolates, man. I know I love chocolate and I'm not even a woman. But again, like I said, man, I done seen Erica's growth 
like not over the last couple weeks but like the last couple months i have seen her growth um i've seen her mistakes that she's made i've seen her ups and downs but i'm gonna tell you what i have seen most importantly lately i've seen a new erica come to this internet you know it's no mistake why she gained almost 2,000 new subscribers to her channel over the last week. 2,000 subscribers. It's no surprise that her views are starting to skyrocket. It is no surprise that stuff that people are doing to try to hurt this woman and bring her spirits down is continuing to blossom and grow each and every day. It's no secret to that. You know why? Because that's called prayer. That's called, she started praying. Even though we both was on BS with me breaking her camera, her egg in my car, me coming to her mom's house disrespectful, her taking my stuff off the wall and stuff like that, you know, I'm going to give credit where credit is due because she's a really good person, man. And I believe, you know, like I said, she's endured so much hardship and pain. And it's like people are continuing to try to stick the knife in. But we all encourage Erica to just keep your head up, keep moving, don't respond, don't reply. Look at it, but really don't pay it much attention. Look at it and almost like laugh at it as if it's comical. Wow. My God. Erica, what the heck? What? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, one second. Please don't move. Oh my freaking God. Well, I got this lotion Jesus. You look so, oh my God. Hold on, I got something for you. I know that you like rose gold, but I couldn't find something that was rose gold, but these are really close. No, thank you. Happy birthday to you. You like them? Oh yeah, these are fresh too. Oh my God, look at you. What have you been, what? You have been shining so much lately. <laughs> oh my the God. That's, that's the pregnancy that's making you shine like that? Well, I got something that's gonna really make you shine. Let me hold those flowers for you real quick. I seen your live last night. You was looking fabulous. Your internet was going in and out though, but I see you was doing your thing, trying to do your best to keep up with your live. Yeah, the signal here is like terrible. Wow, what you got going on today? Oh, it's fine. Oh yeah, read that card out loud. And then they holding um, all the flowers. Yes. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? What just jumped out of your car? Oh wow, wait, I'm scared to be now. Uh-uh, you want me to scoop it up for you? Yeah, please. You sure? Yeah. I got you. I don't want to count it unless you want to count it for them, but I, that's your business. I don't, you know, just wanted to. Okay, I can count it. I mean, you want me to count it? I want you to read the card first. Okay, okay. Okay, you get it. You get how much love and kindness the world needs right now and you put your heart into making that happen however you can thank you for being the kind of person hold on why am i emotional you are wow you look amazing wow don't cry it's okay wow i just show up for me okay here i'll finish reading it for them it's okay take a minute it says, you got it. You get how much love and kindness the world needs right now. And you put your heart into making that happen however you can. Thank you for being that kind of person. One who truly cares and makes a difference. Hope some of that goodness comes back to you today. Happy birthday, Erica from Damien Cryer. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna get the camera out your face in a second. I just wanted to let you know, if you want to count it out, you can. But you do whatever you want. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. I can get my camera, guys. Hey, you can get the camera. I know you have a little one coming. You can go get new stuff for the baby. Whatever you want. It's all yours. If you want me to take the kids today while you enjoy the rest of your weekend, by all means. But I want to say something real quick to you before I turn this camera off. Because you need to know this. Because somebody needs to tell you this. Somebody needs to remind you of who you are and what you mean. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And don't get out your face.
I want you to know, Erica, me and you have not had the best friendship, relationship, co-parenting, but the good thing about us is we try. We try over and over, and we try to come back to the table because we fighters. You are a very beautiful woman. You are very special, and you are very, very well loved. Despite the stuff that you have to deal with every day, you keep your head up. I see you shining. You dropped a new intro. You dropped a Christmas intro a while back. You dropped another intro, photo shoots, and you got other big things going on. I just want to let you know I'm proud of you. You keep doing what you're doing, man. And you don't let these haters tear you down because you have inspired so many people. Numbers don't lie. You have inspired a lot of people. You just keep doing what you're doing. And I just want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. I'm a day late, but happy birthday to you, okay? Thank you. Okay, you might have to sit around for a while and eat some of these good snacks that you got. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like the cheese, but it's part of my taste buds. It's okay, so so I can stay. Yeah. I'm staying for a little bit, and I will be good. Oh, she crying! Look at her! Don't cry! Look at this woman, guys. She looks so beautiful. Wow! And you deserve the best. She's kind of emotional, guys. I'm gonna kick it with the kids for a while, guys. And I love you guys, man. Thank you for watching this video, man. Going over to Love by Erica's, man. Subscribe to her channel, man. It's her birthday. Show her some love over there, man. Okay? I love you guys. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.